Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. You can hear the Australian fans roaring as they line the track here in Albert Park. Welcome to Melbourne. And the roar from the crowd can only mean one thing. It's race day. Here we are then at the Albert Park circuit. 3.28 miles of bumpy city streets, but not a lot in the way of elevation changes. The circuit goes all the way around the lake, taking in 14 corners. Note the DRS zones into turns one, three, and 13. They'll offer our drivers a number of good opportunities to overtake. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position today, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Max Verstappen, and Sainz, Perez, Mick Schumacher, Ocon, and Lando Norris. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Magnussen, Albon, Pierre Gasly, and Russell. Vettel, Sonoda, Nicholas Latifi, and Lance Stroll. Joe, and more. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Natalie Pinkham joins me once again in the commentary box. It's fantastic to have you with us today. I'm curious though, how do you think the drivers stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into turn one, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It'll keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going.
mechanical failure. We're going to have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire. Don't worry about that, mate. OK, this is serious. We need you to retire as soon as possible. Valtteri's in the pits. OK, watch your pace. We've been informed the safety car is out. There appears to have been an issue with multiple stock vehicles on the track. stuff from McLaren today. What a superb victory. So Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the McLaren team, and I'm very happy to see them there on that top step of the podium. had on the driver's standings. Charles Leclerc, currently leading the championship standings, extends his lead even further with this result. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Natalie Pinkham, come on, who do you pick? Definitely Guan Yu Zhou, isn't it? No matter what the rest of the field threw at him, he didn't put a foot wrong. Superb drive from him. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One, so be sure to join us for the next one.